I was just always just a member of the orchestra. I was just a member of the orchestra, but in, in, in the Perry Como Craft Musical, I was, I was also a, uh, his accompanist, and he used to do a spot on the show where the choral group would sing, sing to me, Mr. C, sing to me, and it would be request time. And this was the, the, user, the set was the same every week. Perry would be sitting on a stool, I would be sitting on a stool next to him, there would be a vase on the floor with a single red rose, and after they would say, sing to me, Mr. C, he would read a, a letter of request. We were doing requests. And he usually did a medley of two or three songs, which generally started with the first song, just he and I together, you know. And, uh, and then it would expand, then the orchestra would come in. And then, uh, but I was known as Perry's accompanist and, and in that particular spot, in that request spot, what they call Sing to Me, Mr. C. In those days, uh, uh, we did this show out of Brooklyn, out of the studios in Brooklyn. And uh, you, you, would have to, you would have to do them in pieces. In other words, you didn't do it like uh, some of the early shows we did, you know. We would do it from start to finish, like the, like the Chesterfield show. But then we'd get out there and we'd have to do a uh, break between, between uh, uh, songs because of the logistics of the camera movements and boom movements. So this one show, uh, there were the two guest stars were Gina Lola Brigida uh, and uh, Molly Goldberg. You know, the, the Goldbergs, you know, Molly Berg. And this one scene, the premise of the scene was they were gonna, he was gonna sing Cole Porter's I Love You. And he was gonna do the verse. And the, the whole thing was that it was, it was laid in this little uh, Spanish villa and Perry was going to be a serenader of, he was going to come to this courtyard and serenade what we thought would be Gina Lola Bridget up in the window. And the gag was going to be that as he got into the chorus and the window opened up, it would be Molly Berg he was serenading, not Gina Lola Bridget. But to start the scene, he was going to sing the verse of the song, and he was, had a guitar around his neck. He was going to be facing that audience. Now, because it was such a long shot, they could not get the boom in there without being seen, so the verse of the song had to be pre-recorded. Because at the end of the verse, which was pre-recorded, then the camera and the dolly would move in to a proximity where they could actually get the boom in over his head to go live. So in other words, he was gonna re we were gonna pre-record the verse and he was gonna go live on the chorus. So the director said, uh, Play something real, real crazy, a real flamenco, difficult type of introduction. You know, so Perry can do a little shtick. We're on his back, but he'll make believe his play. You can't see what he's doing, but you can see his shoulders moving. And then, as you get through with this tremendous introduction, you play a chord for him to start, and he'll turn around and give it a little, give the audience a little, "Am I great or what?" And then start to sing the verse. Okay, so the director says, okay, let's go on the verse, let's go, quiet, take one. So I laid into this introduction, I never played it <laughs> better, anything better in my life. I worked on it, I got through and I played the chord, waiting for him to turn around. He turned around and he says, don't you ever make a mistake. Ah, now we gotta do it all over again, right? And I never forgot that, <laughs> oh, I said. Anyway, I did it again. I don't know. It was as good as I played the first time, but then it went on from there. But that, I, I remember that. In fact, Perry remembered that too. Many years later, we talked about it.